We all know there are three types of annual rainfall in Australia. Too little, too much, and everything in between. However, in recent decades, scientists have observed some consistent changes to our climate, such as warmer temperatures in both summer and winter. And there's been changes in rainfall patterns, like the autumn break in South Australia and the wet season in Northern Australia, being less predictable and more extreme. So how well is your business set up to manage this variability? This video outlines three simple steps you can follow to manage climate variability. In doing so, it can have positive benefits for your profitability and risk management. It will also help reduce the greenhouse gas emissions footprint of your farm. The first step is to monitor regularly. There are five things you should keep an eye on and be projecting forward. Your soil moisture, your pasture growth, your animal feed demand, your feed reserves such as average pasture cover and supplements like grain and hay, and the medium and long-term climate outlooks. There is plenty of help at hand to work these out. Here are just three of the many resources that are available. The MLA Feed Demand Calculator is a free online tool which allows you to work out the pattern of feed supply and demand over 12 months. The MLA Rainfall to Pasture Growth Outlook tool presents rainfall and indices of soil moisture and pasture growth for the past nine months and a three-month outlook that can be used in enterprise planning. There's also lots of useful information and tools on the Climate Kelpie website to understand climate drivers, models and outlooks. Once you're monitoring regularly, the second step is to set triggers for action and develop flexible strategies to respond to these triggers. An example of a trigger would be when average pasture cover falls below a certain target or it might be an ideal amount of feed available in the coming season which, based on forecasts, is unlikely to be met. The triggers that are set for each farm business will be unique, based on the level of risk that you're prepared to take, the flock or herd structure you run, and the environment in which you operate. Similarly, the strategies you adopt will also need to be unique to your business. The key is to make plans for what you'll do if you reach your triggers. Some strategies you might consider are supplementary feed early to maintain condition and reduce methane emissions, especially in pregnant ewes or cows. It's often more efficient to maintain condition using supplementary feed than it is to put weight back on or increase condition later. Being prepared to sell stock at stores rather than finishing, for example selling lambs or calves at weaning if needed. Weaning early if needed to prioritise feed more appropriately. Setting up containment areas for drought lots so that they're ready to go if needed. Many of the strategies that address climate variability will also have a positive impact on reducing greenhouse gas emissions and in doing so can help improve your productivity. The Australian Farm Institute's Farm Gas Calculator can help you estimate the greenhouse gas emissions for differing scenarios. Planning ahead and having flexible strategies allows decisions to be made quickly, especially when seasonal conditions change unexpectedly or rapidly deteriorate. The final step is to put your plan into action and be decisive. Benchmarking has shown that producers who consistently perform well in good and bad years are on the ball and make decisions early. They run efficient operations, have high reproductive efficiency 
and a high feed conversion efficiency from effective pasture utilisation. If you take no action, you're actually making a decision. Likewise, if you delay taking action, you are also making a decision which will have ongoing implications for your feed supply and budget. One of the most effective strategies is to make some small adjustments rather than waiting and being forced to make large, more radical or costly decisions. Following these three steps will help your business better manage climate variability. In the words of Charles Darwin, it's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change.